Tell us where you've come from and why that knowledge is, is transferable into this world. Uh, my background's um, Formula One and, and automotive, so I started my career at uh, McLaren uh, F1 and then went on to race engineering uh, with Lewis when he started in 2007. Um, did three years, three years with Lewis Trackside um, as one of his assistant engineers and then I moved on to the automotive side and um, led the hybrid system development on the P1 supercar. I don't know the first thing about sailing, I guess, when, when it comes to data analysis, when it comes to simulation, when it comes to systems, hydraulic and electrical systems, you know, that's all stuff that's common between those industries and this industry, and it's an area where sailing can learn a bit from, from the outside world. Hydraulics, control systems, I mean, they're not, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound very sexy, does it? I mean, just, I mean, it does to me, yeah. <laughs> but I'm an engineer, so. Just, I mean, just explain to me how they, how that area of engineering mm can be so influential in a cup win? I think it's, in, it's important to stress two points of the rules in the cup here. So the first rule is that all the power to drive the, the systems on the boat must come from the sailors. So if there's no batteries or engines, the guys who are grinding away at the grinding pedestals are producing hydraulic pressure and our system is using that to move the hydrofoils, to move the rudders, to move the wing. Um, the second thing is that the rules ban any kind of feedback, so there's no autopilot. Um, a bit like in Formula One, the banning of traction control uh, and other things like that. They're, they're very keen that it's the sailors sailing the boat, it's not the systems. So our mission with the systems is very much, at least with the control systems, is very much one of um, making the system as predictable as possible so that, so that when Ben re requests a rate change from the board from a steering wheel, it does it the same way every time and it gives a predictable response. And secondly, as efficiently as possible so that we're not wearing the guys out and wasting energy in the system. What one thing do you think is going to win this cup from a technological point of view? I don't think it's going to be one thing. I think there'll be three or four things that the teams will do that if you haven't done, you'll be behind. Um, some teams are already fly tacking in practice, so that's going to be probably one thing. Um, that's just if you're not doing that, you're probably not 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 at the game. Beyond that, though, it'll be the little differences. It'll be whether you can bring 20 or 40.05 knot increments to the boat, um, whether you can make that system a little bit more sailable, a little bit more stable. If there is one thing, I think it'd be practice time. So I think it's it's still a challenge. These boats are still quite new. And if you can get the sailors out with a reliable boat testing, they're, they're going to improve faster than the opposition and they'll be, they'll be sailing faster than the opposition.